Hello. Be hard here. I made it. I made it out into the forest. Um, I had this calling from this amazing tree behind me. It's yo too too. And I don't know how to flip the camera while I'm on a on a live, but I just I just can't tell you it's 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 huge and I'm going to, to post a picture and I know the picture doesn't doesn't show how big this, this tree really is. I'd met this tree um on a walk on Saturday and I just felt so drawn to, to go there again and just sit with that tree and um I took time today. I overcame some hesitation, which I usually do, have to do, because um, I like nature, I love nature, but I feel often that hassle of getting out of the house, getting into the car, having to drive through all this traffic <clears throat> till I finally, till I finally arrive. And then I'm feeling like when I have been in nature, I feel so relaxed. All I want is like just drift and be in that space. So I don't want to do this driving again, like coming back into these kind of very uh, different energy that traffic and so forth and the, the, the way you have to, to think and you have to concentrate that brings that with it. So I, I always have to really, um, yeah, nearly force myself. So anyway, I sat with this tree and I noticed how difficult I find it to tune into the energy. Um, I'm very much used to tune into other energies or receive messages um, for people. When I'm in my own space, in my own home, I know all these noises that are there, they're very familiar and I just go down easily. But here it was very different. Um, so it was quite, quite interesting. And then I had brought something to write down what I was uh, receiving or I wasn't even doubt I was even doubting was I going to receive something. And then I noticed that I felt it was so tedious to write. <clears throat> and I was shown to pick up my telephone and use the, um, the voice recorder, which I did. I had no idea um, if my voice was loud enough for the recording, whether I could hear it later or not. It was just when I started to tune in, it was like you really go within yourself. You go not only into your um, ground floor, you, you go into your basement. So you tune into your basement, so to say, and feel the calm and very slow pace of this, this totally different uh, space. So when I sat there, words came slowly. And I just thought, okay, I just this is a first experience of mine. I've never, never done this before. I know that I'm able to receive messages from um, any kind of um, plant or uh, angels or anything, um, <clears throat> but I've never taken enough time. So I, I felt today I have time and nothing is waiting for me I just do this and it was interesting so I'm going to listen to it because I went kind in of in a, into kind of a deeper deeper um, meditative state so I don't fully remember everything so I'm quite intrigued to see what um, what the message is I will listen and I will probably um, type it up because I felt like this could be interesting to actually see this now, why do I come on online with this? I come online with this because I see the necessity to, to be in nature more often. And I know I should be doing this myself more often than I do, actually. And more often with just myself as well, uh, where I just have that space to fully um, engage with the feelings that I have when I am in nature. And that could be a lot of beautiful, like... Um, tingling all over me it feels like some big cosmic hug is coming my way like nature does so appreciate us to come in and have some quiet time even like just a walk so I just went and, and thought I am um, I do start this little adventure <laughs> and I feel it went well I really enjoyed it and um, I'm going to do more of these kind of um, uh, little experiences I'm going to connect more, more with nature on this level like to communicate I do have friends who have done that for years and I always felt I can't do this and and certainly I do have or did always have 
<clears throat> a problem to connect because I'm just too quick. I'm a very quirky person. I um, act and react quickly. So I need to learn to come down and go into spaces and allow for like a pause, like space without anything in it. That is something that I have to learn. And I've, I've started to, to do this. I, I am, I'm still practicing to extend the space that I can allow space to be, which is, which is a very, very interesting experience in itself. So become more space, spaces, spaces. Oh, I can't even say the word, but you know what I mean. And um, <clears throat> what I feel is, while I talk about this space, uh, it really does help me um, to hold space for other people more and to invite them in into that space that is already quiet so they can participate it's nearly as if I build a room in which I can invite others. Okay, <clears throat> I will finish this now because I just wanted to share this beautiful message with you all. Um, I will um, walk around more. I will see what calls me. I will stop where I feel I should be stopping. And I will actually celebrate that I actually overcame this. I went out here. It's not as sunny as it was yesterday and I was kind of thinking of an excuse <laughs> that it isn't like as, as it was yesterday. And then I thought, oh, 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 you're not doing this. You're going out uh, even if it drizzles. And it did start to drizzle, but it's uh, totally different now. So it was good I went. So <clears throat> sending much love to all of you, encouraging you to engage more with nature, to go more into nature with quiet time as well, or just with your family. Let your children run around and um, just walk your path. You don't need noisy equipment to go into nature. And try to, to take off your earplugs. Just try to listen to the birds, the sound of the wind, the sound that the, the trees make by swaying, uh, the sound of your feet on the ground, and um, <clears throat> just enjoy that. And try to, try to feel how that feels. Hi, lovely Emily Rainey that you are here. So try to do that as well, like just more quiet, more like, like more conscious, with more awareness in nature. That is nice too. And um, feel the appreciation of your body that you are actually doing this and that you are engaging with your, your body in a way that you allow it to be without distraction. And I'm talking about the earplugs and all the kind of devices that we constantly have on. Now, obviously, I have my telephone on me as well. <laughs> I even needed it as a navigation tool to get here. But I, um, I like to be without any kind of... Um, talking into my ears. I, that, I'm not a person for that anyway, but I'm just uh, inviting you to do maybe similar things. So I will finish now with like um, sending huge love, gratitude and appreciation that you have been watching this. Um, I want to invite you as well. Hello, Noreen. Lovely to see you. I want to invite you to, uh, to watch my space. Uh, on Facebook and I also have that WhatsApp group um, where I do send some mes messages out. I'm still in the process of um, working out which way I'm going to go and when to offer the next um, <coughs> online courses. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have new methods that I've learned to help um, us to deal with emotional blocks and um, I'm going to offer them as well. Uh, I will need some cases that are willing to work with me for free as well. And I will announce that in a separate, in a separate video. So thank you for watching this. And I'll put that on YouTube as well so that people who don't use Facebook have access to this information as well. Thank you so much for taking time. Bye bye.